Hi, my name is Jacob. Welcome back to Win the Day. Today we'll be exploring the book of Micah and asking the question, what does God really require of us? Wouldn't it be nice if somebody would give you an answer key to life? Both as a student and as a teacher, I know that a lot of times we just want to know, what do I need to do to get a good grade? Or maybe even just to pass. Just tell me what I need to do and I'll do it. Well, as we look at the book of Micah, we can see many things. But one of the most important in this book is that God tells us exactly what he's looking for. God tells us exactly what he requires of us. It's almost like in the book of Micah, God is giving us the answer key to life. Some of the key themes that are found in the book of Micah are judgment and mercy. This book is written somewhere between 740 and 687 BC. It's written by the prophet Micah himself, and some of the main people that we see in this book are his main audience, the nation of Israel, and also Samaria. Micah, like many prophets in the Old Testament, is calling out the people for their blatant disregard for God and his commandments. He's calling them out on their sins. At this time in their history, the leaders of the people and many of the other prophets had become very corrupt. They knew that they were spreading all sorts of injustice and greed, especially mistreatment of the poor and worship of idols. So pride and arrogance were running rampant among God's people and God had had enough. So, through the prophet Micah, God tells the people that judgment is coming. God tells them that the nations of Assyria and Babylon will come up and overthrow them and take them into exile. But even through these harsh prophecies of judgment, God also gives the people hope. Micah speaks of a savior who will come and be a shepherd to his people and provide for them and protect them. Micah also gives us specific details about the Messiah and that he would be born in Bethlehem. So, through Micah, we know that Jesus is coming to bring us hope. So what can we learn from this book? Well, although God is a God of justice and he will bring punishment, he also remains merciful and faithful to his promises. God had promised long ago that he would send a savior and that through his people, he would bring a blessing to all nations, even though they'd sinned against him. And even though he would still bring judgment for those sins, he would still fulfill these promises. Through Micah, God tells these sinful people what he's wanted from them all along. God gives us the answer key to life in Micah chapter 6, verse 8. As we read, He has told you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. This is why we were created as human beings. This is all God has ever wanted from us, to bring about justice and fairness in this world, to show love and kindness to all people, to be humble and to walk in relationship with the God who made us. And if we would do these things, we would bring glory to the God who made us. So here are a couple key takeaways that I hope that we see through the book of Micah. God is a God of justice and he will bring judgment for wrongdoing. But even when we mess up and when we sin, we can't do anything that would disrupt the promises of God. He promised to send a Savior, and no amount of the Israelites' sin was going to change that. He's given us hope in Jesus, and He's given us a way to be the people that He created us to be. Through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we can become people who humbly walk with our God for all eternity. That's what I hope that we see through this book of Micah. And when we see that and we share that hope, we can win the day.